called Stand Up and Joke Off. This <laughs> game... <laughs> this game involves Mark, Andy, Frankie and Russell. So if you could make your way to the performance area, please. This is a stand-up challenge. Our random news generator contains a bank of topics. We spin the wheel and when it stops, anyone can step forward and try to make us laugh about the subject it's landed on. The winner of the team, I judge, should produce the funniest material. OK, here we go. Let's spin the wheel. The first topic is airport security. Who wants to come in that? Mark. Yeah, I find it very stressful, the amount of security at the airport these days. All these announcements, ladies and gentlemen, at this time of maximum security, at this time of height... What do they mean, at this time of maximum? When's it going to stop? Ladies and gentlemen, I think they've gone. <laughs> <laughs> if you see a mysterious package, shake it! <laughs> uh, uh, I tell you what I really hate, though, airports, those metal detectors you have to walk through. I went on holiday... Well, in fact, I'll tell you, I went to Hong Kong. You can't, if you just say, I went on holiday, people go, oh, anywhere nice? Anywhere nice? I hate that. Anywhere nice? No, I thought I visited a shithole this year. <laughs> I, I fell up of nice. Anyway, so I went to Hong Kong, and I always set the metal detector off. Beep every time. Beep, beep, beep. So this time, walk through it. Nothing. No beeping. I was so relieved. I went, yes! Which doesn't help. <laughs> 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 if anything, that weakened my position slightly. <laughs> well done, Mark Watson. OK, let's spin the wheel again. <coughs> the subject is leisure. Who wants to come in on that? Russell. I don't quite know how that signifies leisure. Though, <laughs> how has that old man got her? Uh, that's a joke. <laughs> Anyways, um, we've got more disposable income now than ever, right? And this is, really, this is quite an odd story, but my mum recently bought a hot tub. Now, I don't know if anyone else... It's quite exciting when your mum gets hot. She put it at the bottom of the garden, you get quite giddy, and then you're in it and then you realise you're actually just outside having a bath with your mum. <laughs> and... <laughs> it's a very... You've got no regulation of how to behave, right? And I've got a slightly lazy eye, so my mum's like, are you looking at my thighs? No! She made... <laughs> she made me put an eye patch on. There's nothing bleeding. People just driving past the house. What's that old woman doing in a bath outside with a pirate? <laughs> sort of sat there, right? It gets freakier. My dad jumped in, my brother jumped in, my sister jumped in, and two of our family dogs leapt into the pool, right? <laughs> so we're all around the edge, like, really British, terrified, we're all naked. Dogs are just going around like that. <laughs> Having the time of their life, right? And my mum just chose this moment to embarrass us, just looked up and went, hey, guess what... Well, she wasn't doing a dog impression, that would be weird. <laughs> she went, guess what everyone in this hot tub's got in common? I don't know, mum, what? That's a dog hitting me, right? <laughs> My mum looked up and went, everybody in this hot tub has sucked my tits. <laughs> There's two dogs in here. Is that why Dad dressed up as Lassie? You're killing the family. <laughs> Sorry, Mum, but you did say it. Right. <laughs> um, OK, that leaves us with Andy and Frankie. The next topic is... It's <laughs> Britishness. Do you want to come in? <laughs> Mr Parsons. <laughs> the photo. Yes. Britishness. <laughs> For those of you who require more than just a setup to a joke, <laughs> there's only two things we like, aren't there? Huh? Moaning and queuing. <laughs> And why do we like queuing? So as we can have a bloody good moan about it. <laughs> how long the queue is, how slowly it's moving, and how those rude foreigners have pushed in in front of us because <laughs> they don't have any decent concept of what a good bloody queue looks like. <laughs> there you go, Andy Parsons. <laughs> OK, Frankie, let's see what you've been left with. Science. <laughs> uh, scientists have just built the world's biggest ever super collider and they're doing an experiment to find out what makes up protons. I hope that if the experiment's successful, the whole of our reality will dissolve and a big sign will come up that says, Level 2. <laughs> 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 Scientists have uh, they've just put a chip in a guy's brain and the guy's paralysed. He can only blink, but with the chip he can move a cursor on the screen and he can pick out letters and he can communicate. So far he's written K. 
kill me, kill me, kill me. <laughs> I, always, I always wondered, you know that woman that had the face transplant? See if she gave you a blowjob. Would that technically count as a threesome? <laughs> You know, science isn't all progress. You know, she so look at four by fours and they're bad for the environment. They're too big, aren't they? I mean, often now when I'm out dogging, <laughs> I have to stand on someone's shoulders just to be able to press my balls on the windshield. I think in that round the points go to Russell and Andy. Everyone come back.